What's up, data people? My name is Matthew Heffron, and welcome to lesson four, data blending. I mentioned this in the last lesson, but wanted to say it again. So Tableau updated its data model and how you connect to data using relationships. We're gonna cover that in the next lesson, but I still wanted to show you the old interface and explain data blending. With that being said, let's open up Tableau. I'm gonna to go to Microsoft Excel. I created this Excel sheet called data blending. I'm gonna open that up. And in today's lesson, you're the proud owner of two food trucks. So let's look at the data. In food truck one, you're open seven days a week. Food truck two, you're open five days a week. Okay, and what we wanna do is we wanna create one visualization with data from both of these food trucks. So let's do that. We'll grab food truck one and we'll drop it in the pane, data loads, and we'll go to sheet one. Next, we'll go data, new data source, Microsoft Excel, data blending, open. Let's grab data from our food truck two and we'll go sheet one. Okay, so now we're set up. We have food truck one and food truck two. So let's build our data visualization. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna start off with the, the data from food truck two. So we'll grab date, let's drop that on rows. We'll say exact date, let's make this discrete. We'll grab schedule, drop that on rows. We'll grab cells, drop that on columns. If you hold down your command key, we can duplicate this, drop it on labels, right? And then it says 333, as Let's make this a currency. So we'll go to default properties, number format, currency, standard, and then just hit okay. Boom, all right. So now we have data from food truck two. So what we wanna do now is let's get data from food truck one. So we'll click food truck one. Okay, but let's pause here. I noticed something different. We have a blue check mark, which means this is the primary data source. And when I go to food truck two, we have these linking icons. So if I grab data from cells and I drop it in this data viz, you'll see that this orange icon appears and now it's indicating that this is the secondary data source. And we can see cells over here. It has that same icon so we know which is the primary and which is the secondary. One thing we'll wanna do is these values are the same, so we'll wanna to come to this second bar, get rid of this cells, and we wanna grab the right one. So if you hold down your command key, we can grab that sum of cells and drop that on label. All right, and let's also come in here to cells and let's format this correctly. So we'll go default properties, a number format, currency, standard. Okay, cool. So what do we have here? We have food truck one and food truck two. The data is being blended and we're showing it in one visualization. But there's an issue. We're only seeing data Monday through Friday. And if you remember, we had a food truck that was open seven days a week. So where did that data go? So one thing I wanted to point out is data blending behaves similar to a left join. And so sometimes some data can go missing. So when you decide what your primary and your secondary data source are gonna be, you always wanna make sure that your primary data source is at the lowest level of detail. So let's go ahead and build this again. We'll go to sheet two. Oh, another thing I wanted to point out too with data blending is it occurs on a sheet by sheet basis, right? So we created it here. So when we start sheet two, we can change which one is primary, which one is secondary. So what we'll do is we'll grab date, drop that on rows. Let's make that um, an exact date. We'll change this to discrete. We'll grab schedule, drop that on rows, grab cells, drop that on columns, hold down your command key, drop that on label. Okay, cool. So now we have our data viz and we have seven days a week worth of data. Perfect. Now we want food truck two to be our secondary data source. And what we wanna do here is grab cells, drop that on columns, go ahead and remove this sum of cells. We'll grab sum of cells from here, hold down the command key, drop it on label, right? So now we have the right data showing up over here. 
And now you can see that we have data for the seven days and then we have data for the five days here. So this is what we want, right? This looks good. And let me talk about real quick these little icons. So if I uncheck these icons, you can see that the blend breaks and see these values are aggregated. So we, we need to specify the level of detail that we wanna blend on. So we'll go ahead and click date and schedule. And say your data source, right now Tableau automatically created these linking fields because the names, date, schedule are the same in both data sets. But say your names were different and you still wanted to create that relationship, you can either rename those fields the same or you can come up here to data and you can go to edit blend relationship and then you can do a custom um, hit add and you can map your fields however you want here okay just wanted to point that out so to go over everything again real quick data blending behaves similar to a left join data blending occurs on a sheet by sheet basis and Blending never truly combines the data like a join does. Instead, Tableau queries each data source independently and then the data is aggregated. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson on data blending. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next lesson.